What's up, everybody? And I first want to wish you guys a happy new year. I have, I think, a pretty cool little math problem for you guys. And let me just get my pen out. Okay. So let's suppose somebody came up to you, a very, very wealthy person, and said to you, I have either nine to the ninth dollars available to give you versus eight to the tenth dollars available. I'll put a little dollar sign just to make it clear that we're talking about some serious bucks. If he were to tell you that you could get that amount of money, if you could tell which one is bigger and prove it without using a calculator, then he would hand that money over to you. I think you'd agree that would be pretty cool to be able to know how to solve it. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, guys. So first thing that you would want to do is use some rules of exponents, okay? Um, you want to first get that 9 written as 3 squared. And then that, of course, is still to the ninth power. And then we want to take the 8 and we want to cube it and raise that to the 10th power. And now you guys know that with your rules of exponents, a power to a power means that we have to multiply them. So we're going to get 3 to the 18th versus 2 to the 30th. Still not really clear, is it? You know, you've got, obviously, the 10 is a higher exponent in the original problem right here. Um, but then the 9 is the bigger base. And it's not exactly clear how they're going to kind of trade off with one another. But we are going to make it super clear. So now we've got the 3 to the 18th and the 2 to the 30th. So which is bigger? 18 threes multiplied together or 32s? But we can figure that out because we don't really care about what the actual values are, just which one is bigger. Now, would you guys agree that there is a common factor between the 18 and the 30? And the greatest common factor, of course, would be a 6. So what do you guys think we could do to both sides of those expressions? Well, if you said take the sixth root, you're 100% correct. So let's go ahead and just change our uh, pen color here. And let's raise these both to the one-sixth power. So we're effectively taking the sixth root. And look at what happens. We get this reduced to a very, very simple trivial calculation. 18 times the sixth, remember, power to a power means that we need to multiply them. So that's basically going to come out to three cubed versus... 30 times a 6 is going to be 5, so that's 2 to the 5th. And now we're simply comparing 27 to 32. And I think you'd agree that since 32 is bigger, then the original 8 to the 10th must also be bigger. And indeed it is. Uh, if you guys run the calculation, I'll leave it to you. You're going to find out that 8 to the 10th is a little bit more than a billion dollars. So you would have become a billionaire. And the 9 to the 9th is, I think I remember it being something like around roughly maybe 370 million. So it seems like a huge difference, and it is. But in terms of their ratio, it's only about a factor of three. So it's not immediately obvious to say which one is bigger. But with this super simple calculation, just using simple rules of exponents and then finding the trick to just take the structure to both sides, you can immediately figure it out, guys. How cool is that? And I do hope that you guys will also become billionaires. And I look forward to seeing you very soon for another fun math problem with art.